Hello, I have an interesting deck here, I think. What the theming is around this deck or the whole point of it is just messing with coin flicks. Just the luck of the draw. Just just having fun with coin flicks. And there's many cards that utilize coin flicks, but I definitely want to utilize... I don't know what I think it is a fun, interesting combo. Especially because I want to use this ultra rare Etho. I just want to use it. It's fun. I think it's cool, especially because it has... Um, it, it doesn't require any specific item a card. It can use any for both its abilities. So that's why I think it's cool because you can literally shove it into any deck. You don't need the PvP type actual item cards. If you want to play on this website, it is free for anyone to play. BS Haru made it and it's now open source. So I think other people are working on it. There will be a link in the description to the original Reddit post for it. And on that Reddit post has a link to the website and other stuff. Other than the Etho, we got the TFCs to add draw support, drawing cards and stuff is really helpful and then we got death loop scars basically when he gets knocked out he flips a coin and you might come back with 50 plus hp which is really good and then we have supremacy on false which basically every time she flips a coin uh she has a chance to get plus 40 hp which is real good uh these are the fact cards you see i have a uh, clock is just pretty good in general i have some cards to snipe uh, like i had to sacrifice they're really like there's only one ultra rare no wait no two of my ultra rares are in my actual effect cards but i think i only have one rare actual effect card all the rest are commons and that's because my my actual hermits are comprised of only rare cards excluding etho which is ultra rare and so i had to give up ultra rare slots somewhere else and i did that in my effect because i still wanted to have some of the double cards which are considered or ultra, no i didn't mean give up ultra rare slots i meant rare slots and i still want my double cards so i didn't give up my double card slots which are rare cards yeah i think this deck will be very fun i don't know if i'll win with it i think there's a decent chance of winning with this deck who knows the king of gg interesting so this is who we're going up against oh we're gonna be starting with scar don't mind that uh so it is my turn so i'll put scar down sadly we did not get the right item type like i can still use this on scar but he won't be immediately usable but luckily i don't attack with him this turn so it might not matter i am still I'm tempted to just discard stuff anyways so i'm gonna discard my knockback and my healing oh that's helpful so let's get you out the yeah the miner can go in there that's fine so i think i will just put this on scar even though it can't be immediately used Oh, that works out. Okay, I got the builder item. So Scar can be used immediately now, which is awesome. Ooh, they're running Jevin. Oh, I haven't seen the... I actually, on this website, I have not gone up against someone using Speedrunner yet. I will add this to Scar. So we got that going on. And I'll just do some death looping. Uh, wait, no, heads. That's good. Uh, but th that only matters if I get knocked out the following turn. So right now, that doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, well, they can already use Peace Out, which I'm fine. <gasps> They're running the ultra rare Etho as well. Ah, oh, the solidarity I feel with this person now. I Yeah, they're making me switch to my TFC, which is actually fine <laughs> because they don't know I have a double card. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm going to branch mine. <gasps> I get to draw a card and I get a false. So I get to use all three of them. This is perfect. And another TFC. Awesome. Okay, so they're armoring up their guys. Okay, so they, they made me switch, which is fine, honestly. I don't care that I have to keep switching between them. Let's get you out. and <laughs> Let's put you out here. I don't mind this. This is fine right now. End turn. Ooh, perfect. I can use Supremacy next turn. Yeah, the 90 damage is a lot. I, I'm thinking I will go to TFC and then I'll probably switch into false. So yeah, so I'm gonna give this to false. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Gonna branch mine, hopefully I get it to draw a card. Oh, no drawing card, that's fine. And then I switch into false. Which I don't know if that's a great idea because now I can't kill Jevin this turn. Oh, but yeah, but then I forget, but then Jevin makes me switch, which is the cool part. And so I might as well just kill off Jevin, you know? So we go off to that and we attack. Oh wait, I forgot the armor reduces it. Oh, I forgot they live another turn. Oh my gorb. I forgot. 
I, I have plenty of hermit cards, so that's good. Um, yeah, we'll just switch over to you false. That's fine. I should, I do have a typing chart on my second monitor right here so that I know uh, what's good against what. And so speedrunner's good against miner. So e Jevin's been doing extra damage to TSC, but I don't need to worry about my builders essentially. Um, I think I should put out another hermit so I start building them up. I guess false so I can start building her up. I will, yeah, I just use supremacy. I kill their Jevin. Ooh, and False got the heal, and I also got an instant health card. Oh, from them. Oh, that's really good. Okay, well, I end my turn. I can't do anything else. <gasps> we got this special Etho. I gotta get Etho on the board, you know? Oh, they can fully utilize their Etho thing. Luckily, I don't think it did too much damage. Yeah, I think it only... Yeah, they only got one heads out of the three. So we're gonna put our Etho up because Etho is cool. And then, uh, well, I can't use Etho, which is the sucky thing. And false honestly might die because, okay, this, yeah, okay. If Etho gets lucky and gets all heads, uh, they would be doing 110 damage and they might have an item to add more damage. So right now my false is in trouble, but I can heal false. So I'm gonna go with healing false. So I healed false and false might heal herself even more after this attack if I get lucky. And she did, oh, this is going great. That did damage, right? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, okay, they did have the extra damage and they got so unlucky. Oh boy, I feel bad for them. But yeah, they obviously don't have any more hermits, which is not good for them. I, I'm gonna course fruit and then I'm gonna attack. Do I heal? No, I do not heal. I'm gonna just switch over. Uh, well, he can insta-kill a lot of my stuff. So I'll switch over to the other false. Oh, and I can unlock that false of supremacy now. Ooh, they got pretty lucky there. I I will just unlock Falsus for some per supremacy, and then hopefully I I can get Etho up and running at some point. But we will attack. Ah, uh, no healing. So sad. And turn. Ooh, I can insta kill. Oh, never mind. They healed and dealt a lot of damage to me, which is not good. Not good. I might have to just take it and die, you know. But I'll go out strong. With that. Oh, and I healed a little. That's good. Ooh, fishing rod. I need that right now so I can get more cards. Oh, they finally got another hermit. So they killed me. They got a prize card, but I will be killing their Etho soon. Before I switch over, can I use this? I can. Perfect. I can use Ethos. I can start using this Etho then soonish. But I don't know if I want to. Should I risk Scar? I could risk my Scar coming back to life if I get lucky, which is kind of the whole point of this deck. So, okay, wait. So I should be putting an item card on Etho. I could bring e my Etho out, but I don't really want my Etho taking a lot of damage right now. So I'm going to pick Scar and I'm just going to, I'm just going to hope with the heart, heart of the cards. Heads. Heads. Do I not wait it didn't tell me or does it do the flip next turn i might do the flip next turn oh i could disable their etho but then that would just enable their their cub which is not the greatest and yeah they they killed yeah i did not get lucky they killed my um scar which is not good that's all right we got our etho go up and running and their etho is now dead uh i think i also want to go here and re-get a card insta health might be a good idea but i'm also thinking of doing damage quickly and fast so i will take back the tnt and it didn't matter how good that was, cause yeah. I uh, me getting this figured out an item card isn't that helpful, but it's also not the worst either. I will put you on the board. I can't because my turn's over. I knew that. Uh, luckily this cup can't do too much right now. Never mind, cup can do a lot right now. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's a lot of damage. So I can't move one of the one of the item cards because he doesn't have an active hermit right now. I don't know if they have like an item card to attack on damage, which is the issue. Also, wait, so I can do 111 damage plus 60. That's not enough. But if I survive this turn, then that would kill cub next turn. You know what? This deck is all about taking risk. I'm going to take a risk. Oh, I got unlucky with those, with that, but that's fine. Oh, I forgot to attach my item card. I'm so dumb. Oh, we got another scar. He healed. Of course. Of course he healed. I, 
Yeah, I'll probably be switching over to TFC, I think. I can't use this, right? Hold on. You can't use this effect. Yeah, no. Oh, you didn't heal. Ah, uh, Cub would have been dead. I have to switch. I switch. Oh, this could be helpful. No! The, the turn, the table turning. The turns of the table. Oh my god, the king of o of GG had a bow, which came in clutch for them. That was such a good game. Oh man. Uh, well, if you want to see me try again, I really like this deck. If you want to see me try again with this deck, uh, maybe I'll make another video. Uh, but this video would be too long of me showing another match, but that was really fun. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can check out my other content videos if you enjoy it. Subscribe. It does genuinely help. And I'll see you later. Hopefully. Bye. <laughs>